Hello and welcome back to our journal that we're doing. Um, today we're just gonna do some more in here and I just have all my stuff that I have left from the kit I have in front of me. Um, yeah, for those of you that are looking for this kit, um, you can go to my Etsy shop and there's still some there. Um, you can order them there, and I do next day ship out, and yeah, let's get started. So, let's see what we got here yet. I have some tool, I have some washi tape, and this is another little washi tape sample there, and that, and I have a couple of stickers that are flying all over the place here and I have this yeah there's a, still a bunch of stuff here so let's just get started and let's see where do we want to start which page um let's see let's go to um, so I have this page here with this kind of creepy guy looking at me. <clears throat> so I am going to make a page, uh, with two pockets. Um, let's see, do I want to use this? Um, or do I want to use just a, I think I'm just going to use one of these pages and, uh, I'm just going to get out my cutter here and I'm going to cut about three inches. I'm going to do two with uh, just three inches. And then I'll just cut the sides a little bit. Just to cut that raggedy edge off. And then I'm going to put that one there. And this one here. I'm going to get my little hole punch. How is everyone doing? I hope you are having fun doing this journal. I am actually having a blast doing it. Um, I am doing it, uh, sometimes I do it in the evening, sometimes during the day, whenever... Uh, the mood hits me, <laughs> which is all the time. I want to do it all the time. I love crafting, as you guys know, and coming up with kind of new ideas and watching other people's videos and coming up with new stuff. I just, I enjoy it. <clears throat> And uh, I'm going to leave my email in the description box. So maybe you can send me pictures, those of you that are, are doing this with me. And uh, yeah, I would love to see what you're doing. Always interests me what people are doing, especially like, you know, I'm doing this too. And what, what you guys are coming up with. And all of our papers are a little bit different. Like they're basically the same, but a little bit different. So yeah, I would love to see what you guys are coming up with. Um, I have this green paper here. Um, this one has the bike on it and I believe everyone has this. So what I'm gonna do is um, just take my ruler and just kind of measure here and 
just so I can see a little edge there, I'm going to tear it. And so that one will go there. And then this one can go here. And if it's not 100% straight, that is fine. Um, as long as, you know, you get it semi-straight. And I'm just going to round these corners. This one too. Yeah, and I believe everyone should have these bikes, uh, this bike paper. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I'm like, uh, this page needs something. So I figured just give it a quick little distress. And I love this bike paper. It is so cute. Or this bike paper pad. I'm just like, that would be perfect for this journal. And I think I had three or four of these pads that I had bought. I'm like, oh, what am I going to do with all of them? So when I whoop, made the kit, I'm like, I'll just add them in there. Okay. So, now we have that. Grab our glue. And just stick those on. Like so. And this one, we'll probably do something to this bottom one yet. There we go, and then we'll stick these on. <clears throat> um, maybe I should go down a little further. There we go. His name is Walter, it says. <laughs> Funny. There we go. There's that. Now, do we want to make the tags or do we have some here? Let's see what we have in our stash here. Yeah, we're probably going to have to make those. Well, here's this one. Um, let me see. I have this little one here with these little people. Are these little kids? I think I might put that one in here. And that way we can still see the bike there. And let's see. What else do we have here? Okay, I'm going to move all my stuff over here, and I have this card here yet, and I know I wanted to move some of these cards that we had here to maybe a different spot. So I don't know if this will fit. No, this is too big here. Hmm. Okay. So we may just leave that empty for the moment. And let's see what we're going to put on here. I have my... Woo, my stuff here that I don't want to lose. And that is the chunky charm. This is a flower here. Um, let me see. I may put that here. 
Let's see, what have we got here? Um, I have all kinds of stuff here. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I might put this little flower, or this little blossom on here. And uh, if you have anything else that you want to add in between here, like if you want to add stuff, you are welcome to do so. And this is like impossible to get off again. Yeah, just use your little pokey tool to get the, the backing off and then they stick really well. Yeah, so if you want to glue any or use any other stickers that you have, feel free to do so. This is your book to do with as you please. So, yeah. And, yeah, we'll come back to that one to add something. Or maybe we'll find something stuck somewhere. Okay, so that is that. Um... Let me see my washi tape here, if I want to. So I have this one that would kind of coordinate with it. I think I'm going to stick some here. Or if you have your own washi tapes that you want to use, uh, feel free to do so. Just make it your own. My fingers don't want to work. I just put these nails on. I think that's why. <laughs> I'm like, I deserve to put on nails. It's been a while since I did my last video. At least a week. I know you're seeing them back to back. Because I'll be posting them back to back. But um, it's been a while since I've done worked in this journal. So there is that. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, could even do one on this side, a strip. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Strip on this side. I hope you guys are seeing what I'm doing here. So I always add glue, even if you have sticky washi tape I just add the glue because I always find that it wants to come up and that just makes it stick better okay there I think that page is done and I think for this one we're just gonna leave it the way it is uh, I may add something later on. And now I'm going to take this one with the rose. Um, I think I'm going to make a little, um, like a journaling uh, page with it. Okay. First of all, I'm going to get my little book here, or book page. And I'm going to take some um some ink you can do it all one color if you like um i'm gonna try to do the leaves kind of green like this this part green and then i will do this the rose part in a, a pink like that just very simple and then i'm just going to take it like this and fold it over because it's I, I thought it could kind of stand on its own but it i find it the leaves are kind of delicate so i'm just gonna press it down like that and then glue glue this down
and that way I know it's gonna last on here it's not gonna the leaves are not gonna tear off so just like that and just push it press it down see this one wants to just flip all over the place okay so <clears throat> now we can either do it this way or have the flower coming out that way so I'm just going to fold it not quite in half a little bit more than than half just going to fold it Oh, see this leaf just wants to fall off and this is kind of uh, hard paper to work with so there we go we have that now I'm just gonna take and distress the edges here um, actually I'm gonna first of all do these corners My, around these corners you can round them you can use one of those fancy punches if you like but I'm just going to round them here and I think that looks so cute so feminine um, I'm going to round these corners too that now I'm not sure if I want to make this a pocket or like a journaling spot I think I'm gonna make it a tuck spot and a journaling spot so I'm gonna distress the inside too I may not have needed to do that but I'm gonna do that anyway we'll see what page I will find to put it on. So let's see, what do we have next here? We have, oh, I have my washi tape sticking over. I knew something was sticking. Okay, so we have this kind of weird picture. I don't really think we're gonna cover that. I don't really like that. Um, let's see what we got left. We got this one. Now, we could also use this page that we just kind of used for distressing. Or, yeah, used for doing our uh, our rose here. There's a little glue glob sticking out here that I want to get out of here. Okay. I'll do that later, Billy. Later. <laughs> Thank you. Mommy's doing a video. <laughs> okay, so I'm deciding what I want to do here. Okay, I'm going to take my ruler. So if you have a book page, just the one that we were using, or if you, you didn't use one, maybe you could grab one, or even just a photocopy page and maybe just go like this and just 
color it up a bit or use a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a scrapbooking page or like a 12 from a, not a 12, you can use a 12 by 12 or just some, some page to cover up. I just didn't like, I don't know, this looks weird to me. I don't like that picture. Just kind of looks strange to me. So I am going to put this here. How am I, am I going to put this? I'm going to make this like a writing spot here. And I am also going to make this a tuck spot, like a tag spot. Let me grab my little thing here and just make a notch. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure this out today too. Sorry, I'm, it's taken me so long to figure out what I'm going to do. But I'll just put glue on three edges here. Like so onto my paper mm, and uh, yeah I'll put it right there and that way I can open it like that and I'll just put glue on the back here and glue this down And I'll grab my bigger bone folder here. Now we had this thing along a long one, and I think we'll put that one in there. So I think I will cut it. I'm gonna mark it with a pencil here so right there and just get my cutter and make a straight cut and then we'll just make it into a tag so take your little piece here and just Put it right there so you get the same corners because I can never cut the same corners. I, They're always off. They are never, ever the same. Never. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm going to round my corners. And um, I believe I have another picture or here's my little stamp so this would go good with the luggage here so I'm just going to put that one there and I may put a little piece of lace this lace here I'm just going to cut a little piece off and I'll get my fabric glue and I'm just going to put some glue down here. And glue this on right there. And then glue this down. Yeah, so I'm going to try to use up this whole kit in this book. That way you can see it. This is not like fancy, fancy paper or anything or any special tools that you need. It's just, you know, stuff that, um, you know, you kind of have in your stash. 
Um, now this washi tape here that I gave you, um, it has different words on it. And let me just see if there's any that would fit with this. This one says cherry picked piece of cake, spice of life. I think I like that one, spice of life, because it kind of goes with that. So, I'm just going to cut that piece off and save the rest here, like so, and just put that right here. Like so. Now I'm just going to again distress this. Yeah, so anybody can make a journal with kind of with stuff that they have um, in their stash, simple things using any kind of paper. Um, it doesn't have to be like themed all the time. It can be, you know, uh, simple things so that can go in here and then I believe I gave you guys um, little tags and these are little tags you just fold them over I may have told you this already but here I go again and I'm just gonna ink that one up I'll do both sides and I think I gave you several different colors. If you don't like the color, just kind of trace it and um, cut it out. And then you can make the color that you like. And you can see the mess I'm making here. <laughs> and you can still put a hole in, in the tag here at the top and add... Um, your string if you like but this is just something different I think it looks cute like this so there is this and for I think this will work really nice for writing and there is that how cute is that and this one says stay staycation activities okay I didn't even see that, <laughs> that it is fitting for this time of uh, life that we're in right now. Okay, now let's put some of this aside. How many minutes are we into this? I'll try to go for half an hour. Um, let's see here. Oops, our little girl is stuck here. Okay, what have we got here? We've got to work on those pockets. Okay, I wanted to see if I had two pages close together. Mm. Okay, maybe not. I hear my dryers going cuckoo there. Um, this card here, I was thinking of putting it in like that. And let's see, what else do we have here? We still have this pocket, which is a really big one. And I was thinking of putting that more towards the back. Yeah, we've got lots of pockets here. Maybe I'm going to put that one right here. Yeah, I'm going to use this glue just to... And I'm going to make this kind of like a double pocket um, maybe to store our extra ephemera and stuff that we don't use here or you know you could 
when you're journaling, put your extra little pictures and things in here. So there is that. And we still have this little pocket that we need to glue in. So, yeah, I'm sorry I'm flipping so much today. Flipping and flipping. So we have something here. There. And how about we put it right here. And then next video, we might have to start working on um, tags, putting in, making tags or uh, little cards to put in these little pockets. So there's that one. And this one would fit in here, but I think it's a little bit too big. I'm just going to put it in there for now that it has a little home. And let's see. We have this envelope. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. And what else? What else? Okay. Just making sure everything is loose and not stuck. So this page. What would we like to put in there on there? So this one says shopping list. So we can maybe just stick it in. Um, let's see. I've seen people make little envelopes with these, like this. Yeah, like that. I don't know if you saw how I did that, but I'll show you again. So I'm just going to stick this part down. I'm going to leave a little room right there. Okay, so this is like a little uh, hidden envelope. So what you do is just fold it over this way, fold it over that way, and then just fold it up. And then we're going to take this flower and we're gonna put it just the uh, maybe about three leaves two and a half leaves of glue and we're just gonna stick it down so we can tuck this little little guy under there and then we're gonna just distress this here yeah so that will hold that up hold the little tag up or the little ah, what do you call this flip up like that and now we'll put some decorations on here let's see maybe we'll do these little corners here come on behave yourself and come off these are very sticky they don't need glue at all so we'll just glue that down or stick that down and I believe everyone has some of these corners So that is that, and we'll put a little flower right there. Like that, and I have, 
Okay, that's going to be too much. Okay, yeah, I think that is finished. That is so cool. And I'm surprised I just thought of it on the fly here. <laughs> so yeah, so this little tuck comes up and this way it opens up for a little rating there and this goes up and under so that is that all right so we've done we did this page we did this one and we did this what else is that it i believe it is yes all right yeah that's coming along very nicely i hope you guys are enjoying it um i can't wait to do the next video so we'll see you soon bye